Hi there, and uh, let's get right to it. Today we're looking at the blur palette in the central palette of DaVinci Resolve 12. At the top, you can control between three modes, blur, sharpen, and mist. You have the same drop-down menu in the top right corner. Uh, next to that, you also have the universal reset button for all three controls. The three modes of the blur palette use the exact same controls, but with varying combinations. Just like virtually any other palette on the color page, the blur palette can be used in conjunction with the qualifier tool and the power windows. Inside of the blur mode, we're able to adjust the radius of the blur. This is based on a Gaussian calculation, so if anyone's familiar with Gaussian blur inside of Photoshop, that's what you'll be using. Moving the channels up blurs the node, whereas moving them down sharpens it. You can also choose to disband the channels by clicking on the link in the top left corner and then blurring and sharpening only the red, or the green, or the blue channels. The HV ratio allows you to control the aspect ratio of your blur. By pulling it upwards, you make it more horizontal, and by pulling it downwards, you make it more vertical. For those of you who don't have the studio version of the software, you can fake motion blur by introducing a horizontally skewed blur and then keyframing it inside of the keyframe palette. One final tip, if the blur is not extreme enough for your liking, you can always add another node, Alt-S, and continue adding more blur in the next node. So you can see with every node, I am making the image blurrier and blurrier. Additionally, I'd like to show you how to work with windows. So in this case, I've already created a vignette preset, which I'm going to apply to this node then go back into the blur tool and blur just the edges of my footage. Ignore the black lines for now, normally those wouldn't be burnt into your footage, but I'm just demonstrating that I could choose to only blur something that's isolated by a window or inverted by a window. The sharpen option gives you much the same controls. So you're still blurring when you go to the top and sharpening when you go to the bottom, but you've also revealed some scaling options. What this does is it multiplies your radius effect when you have it set to anything under 0.5. And in this case, we see an amplification in the luminance of the details. The coring softness and level controls at the bottom of the sharpen effect allow you to isolate which parts of the image you are sharpening based on the level of image detail. So with lower coring, you could focus on an individual's face and make sure that the sharpening is only applied to points of fine detail, like their eyes, their lips, their ears, etc. With a higher number, you're starting to target the skin itself, and the level will control the threshold between the two. So I'm going to bring up a close-up of a person and give her just a tiny bit of contrast. There we go. So I might decide that I want to increase the amount of detail on her face. I'm going to go into the Sharpen tool, and I'm going to drag this down, but then decide that I want to lessen the amount that her skin is being brought out. So I'm going to keep the number low, and when I play around with the level, you can see that I can remove some of that visibility on her skin, and instead focus on sharpening her eyes. And finally, let's take a look at the mist effect. This is probably the least versatile of the tools because it achieves a very distinct look. In the industry, it's referred to as the Vaseline on lens effect, which refers to the golden age of Hollywood where actors' imperfections were concealed in close-ups by rubbing a gel or Vaseline on the lens in order to soften the light entering the lens. I'm going to begin by sharpening the image and then also lowering the scaling. And what I can do then is adjust the mix so that the threshold falls right between the two, and I end up with this pretty unusual effect of something that's both sharp and soft at the same time. And looking at before and after, the result looks like this. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time!